uh, greetings. Um, this video is about conditioning special part muscle groups. I show you how to get a claw like an eagle, how to develop it. We will not talk about physical fitness or strength exercise as much in big muscle groups because you already know that at the gym or stretching. You get that information in the gym. I want to show you things that are most likely you don't know. First of all, with two sticks like this, you can toughen up. Okay, the shins. This will be as toughening them up. As you get better with this, okay. As you get better with this, you can hit them harder. Okay, and this is how the shiny monks uh, tap them up in a similar way. Okay, they use beans and stuff like this, but you can use broomsticks. Okay, you go on the back side. Just jump you like this and then eventually go harder. Okay? Eventually you can go harder. Okay? Around your forearms. Make sure you cover just about everywhere in the body. Your arms. Make sure you don't hit places like your bones where you're going to break them unless you're very conditioned. Okay? Around your neck and your jaw, be careful you don't knock yourself out, okay? Okay. And around your back, you get something to do your back if you like, but we're not going to do that today, okay? Then you might give it another shot on your shins. And your calves. And your forearms. With the gladiator forearms and shins are the shield of the gladiator. Also, there's a wall. Like this, and come up here. Okay. As you can see, this is what the shiny man is for. Nine, or fist, or four arms, depending upon what you do. In this case, you don't break them. You stop with the pads, the, the might make tip pads. You attach them on the wall and do that. Punching bags. Start with the light punching bag, work your way to the head bag. Then the mittens, the sheet, my tiny mittens on the wall, you punch that. Then you go on to this kind of option. Develop your knuckles, as you can see. As you can see on the side view. Okay, nothing happens to my knuckles. Okay, so um, uh, that's the way you can just do as many muscles in the human body as you can with the broomstick and that way on the forearms and knuckles. Another thing that you've got to do to get that claw that I've been talking about. So when you grip someone, it's like an eagle claw that they can't escape with martial art tricks. Okay? And um, they still can if they're very good, if they're better than you. But if your grip is better than theirs, you know, they want to escape it. Okay? Um, so, um, Another thing you have to do is not only condition it with the broomstick, you also condition it with weight training. Now, I'm not going to talk to you uh, with other types of training. I'm not going to talk to you about developing big muscles, the chest and the lats and all this. Because in bodybuilding, you can learn that at the gym. And it's compulsory that you do that. You need to develop them. But just go to the gym and you will learn how to do that. Or physical fitness, you can just go for a run. You can learn that in sports. Flexibility, you can learn that. I'm teaching you things that most likely you're not aware of. First of all, 
so you may be aware of this, you can really stuff this heavy up or light up around your ankle, okay? And your forearm, you can have four of them doing housework or whatever you're doing or working in the garden or whatever you get some physical fitness and and, and um, uh, strength exercises, okay? Uh, but that's not what we're talking about today. What we're talking about is some parts that we're going to develop. First of all, the old-fashioned one that you might be aware of is with a weights like this, you develop the forearms. Just simply doing about 20 reps on each one like this. We're not going to do that many, okay? But, you know, doing, you know, as many as you can this way and this way and this way. This develops the forearm, okay? But you need also to develop the forearm with something like this. Or a weight like this one way. So you take this, this part off and put it in. So you hold it here. I haven't got that set up today. This is something else. You use the hammer. You set it like this and you come up this way. You can do as much as 50 or 10 or whatever you can do, okay, around this way. Okay, for the sake of innocent women and children, I teach this so they can defend themselves. Okay, just like that, coming up there. I can do as much as so many reps is not funny. And you do it on the other side as well. Okay, get that grip around the forearm and around the wrist area. It's important to do these movements, okay, to get that wrist powerful. Okay, um, in martial arts, they teach you the power comes from the hip as in kicking or from the shoulders and lats and punching and the body in line to the punch but if your wrist is not strong enough and you create a powerful punch if you practice much once seriously without gloves and you have a solid punch the power might come from your body and line into it with the hip but if your wrist can't take it or your fingers you're going to break it and you're, you're out of condition in combat and you can lose the fight very easily and get killed because you've got this is what takes the punches the forearm and the fingers and the arm is what takes the punch. So is the legs here, takes the kicks and the knees and that. So the next thing we're going to do is simple grips like this, which you might be aware of these. You can use tennis balls as well to come this way. Do as much as 50, 100 reps, whatever you want. Not only that today, but as much as you want. Just like that, you can use tennis balls too if you've got them. Another thing that um, you may not be aware of is this. You can put weights here. This is an eyeball. It comes off here, and you can put weights here. I haven't got to set up these weights because I was using it or something else. But you can put, put a brick. A brick is much lighter, lighter. But you can put heavier weights on this. And come here and develop your fingers. See? Come here, you can do as much reps. I'll do as much as 50 on each finger, okay? With the heavy weights, okay? I could do more with this, okay? So you come here and just go through your whole fingers like this, like this, like this, okay? On both side of the hands as much as 50 or 100 reps on each finger okay okay come up this way just lifting it up don't worry about getting it right you'll get it right as, as time progresses don't put it here because if you drop it you 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 eject yourself keep it in the center at, at one stage i was actually shooting a video and i forgot to check i bought behind I was talking about the same thing and as i went like this it dropped boom the whole way dropped and if i had it here it would drop the one it like out or even break it okay so you can make do about 50 reps on this it's not only to condition it with the broomstick but the broomstick which i forgot to do with that part you can also do it on the knuckles here okay 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 and um it does not only condition um, the body with the broomstick but it also creates padding like muscle just like you would do bodybuilding on the chest or the lats or whatever muscles, big muscles, you would develop the small muscles in your fingers. I've got muscles here like you wouldn't believe. I don't know if the camera can see that. Okay, but there's muscle there. Anyway, <coughs> <coughs> another thing is, I forgot to get a piece of rag. I'll have to explain it, maybe shoot another film to show you how to do it because I'm going to rag. Another thing is with this iron bolt, you put a rag here, just anything. And you go onto the floor like this. I'm explaining because I haven't got a rag here with me. I forgot to get it. And you bring it here and you bring your neck on the sides like this. And, and the rag is sticking here with the eyeball. And you come around here. Okay? Come around here and this way and this way. Don't do it up and down because you're going to get a bad neck. Not straight up and down. Always on the sides. Those who teach you to go exercises like this going up and down is wrong. You get sore neck and you can damage it. You go to the sides. Okay? On the sides. 
anywhere on site. Okay? So that is the lesson on that. You can also do extra training, like get one of these, which not only makes you be able to be strong and be able to bend bars eventually, but it helps you on the grip here. See so the grip here, as you hold it this way, and you come out this way and hold it like, you know, 10 minutes or something, which is easy to do once you learn. I'm not going to do that now, but anyway. Okay, I'm just showing you. And you do it the other way. You get a very good grip here. And you get very strong to be able to bend bars, okay? Okay, you come up here. You can hold it like 10 minutes or walk, walk as long as you can, okay? So that is some home training that I do from time to time, okay? So hope that will help anyone, men, especially women and children, to be able to condition themselves in a street situation. Sure, you need skill behind the self-defense. Yeah, you definitely do need skill. But these are tricks of the trade here. But if you condition your, your body just a little bit better, each time it gets better and better, a little bit more and a bit more, it's better than being a little bit less and a little bit less and a little bit less each time. The best thing to do is prayer to the Trinity God, creator of life. He'll make sure you are safe and you're out of trouble. He'll make sure no one comes your way to make trouble. But, or whatever he does, he'll keep you out of trouble. He'll condition you, he'll, he'll train you. Amen. May God be with you all. Amen.